So I'm here with Mike Filsain, and I'll just get you to tell us a little bit about who are you, and uh, maybe just a smidgen about uh, the kind of success that you have uh, created for yourself, just so people know who you are. Sure. Um, I'm a 41-year-old uh, entrepreneur from Long Island, New York. I've been doing uh, marketing on the internet for about six years. We have about um, about 40 employees worldwide. Uh, 20 of them live uh, work with us at our office. And um, before that, I was a general manager in the automotive business. Oh, okay. So we uh, we run uh, we run a, um, a multi-million dollar uh, online business, uh, teaching people how to uh, start a home-based business online and, and create information products and, and sell their products and services online. That is a perfect fit. There's so many families out there who want to spend more time with their kids and they're not sure how to do it, so home-based business is great. Mm -hmm. and did you already have an entrepreneurial mindset as a kid or is it something you learned later on in life? Y yes, I did. You know, my dad, my dad owned a car dealership uh, you know, uh, when I was growing up. So um, my dad would, um, he was, he would torture me in such a good way. Um, <laughs> he and I are best friends to this day. We were best friends growing up. So what would happen, uh, um, I had this nickname, Keek, because uh, it, was, it was Mike, Mikey, and then Mikey became Mickey, and then Mickey became Kiki, and, <laughs> and then so he would just wake me up and say, Keek, come on, Keek. W wake up. So, um, and this would be like 10 o'clock at night, 10.30 at night, and he would wake me up and just want to tell me about the entire day of the you know, of, of, of the, the business right around the table while he'd have this camem camembert cheese on, on crackers with jelly and stuff like that. And he would, he would keep me up till one in the morning and I absolutely loved it. So, so uh, I got an entrepreneur, uh, entrepreneurial training very, very early on from, uh, from my dad. So your dad was a key player in getting you interested in doing your own thing? That's correct, yeah. I was fortunate enough to be similar in that way as well. What would your input be for parents who maybe don't understand finances yet or, or don't know they want to teach their kids about money but they don't really understand it themselves and they maybe feel a little bit scared to do so if they were to find someone to help them would that maybe help or yeah absolutely and, and obviously that's something that you do very well so uh, anybody watching this uh, should definitely make sure to enter a name and email address <laughs> or, or make sure to get access to any of your information to do that but it, it's very important to get kids started at an early age mm -hmm. and to understand the value of, uh, of, the, of a dollar and the value of their time and how those two can equate together. And, uh, you know, I, it's very interesting when I was going to Dubai uh, to speak about uh, three weeks ago, I was watching, uh, I was watching a special on, uh, on genius children and, they were t um, and there was a, a great majority of people that are actually believing that, that uh, the kids truly really aren't gifted. Um, that it, it happens at a very early age and can even happen from the womb and getting them involved in, in certain things, whether it be it be music and sports and things like that. And practice is um, is really what can help make someone, uh, you know, into a genius. But what happens is is they did a study and they found a girl that uh, that was um, back in the 70s uh, was was found neglected from her parents. I think it was inspired inspired the movie Nell. Okay. And when she was uh, 11 years old. Uh, the parents were arrested and they found basically her just strapped to a chair. And what happened was they found that uh, that uh, even though she was only 11 years old, uh, she couldn't learn to properly speak with normal grammar to the, to the uh, for the rest of her life. And they actually spent a lot of time with her. It's actually a sad story because she ended up going back into uh, an institution. Mm -hmm. But uh, what, what they found out is that um, when the brain is forming, especially uh, in the first few years, is that the brain says, okay, I need this and I no longer need this and it just shrinks up and and you know when they say you can't teach an old dog new tricks it's, it's absolutely true the brain can no longer function once once those connections are no longer there they can never reconnect and when when something stimulated when it's young those connections just tend to flourish and will be strong for the rest of their life so um, I would recommend even you know before you know uh, four or five and six years old is actually to, to get kids involved in and understanding the differences between a red block and a blue block and things like that, and just get, you know, get any type of interaction with kids, you know, right, you know, right, right from the time that they're born, is, you know, real, or even before they're born, with certain types of music, uh, I definitely recommend it. Wow, that's wonderful. I appreciate that because, um, yeah, we always think, oh well, we can learn it later, <laughs> and maybe slowly, mm -hmm. but no, it, it's so true, mm -hmm. and uh, and children are capable of so much. Yeah, yeah, they truly are a blessing, and and, uh, 
and uh, I, I think it's our responsibility to to give them the gift of, of being able to learn learn better throughout their life uh, because uh, you know like you said if, if we say we'll, you know we'll, we'll teach them later um, their the brain is a muscle and it, it's not going to it's not going to have the endurance to go through the exercise, and they're not going to enjoy doing home homework. They're not going to enjoy doing sports, and they're not going to enjoy doing, you know, uh, getting involved in music. And those types of, of habits are the habits that are needed to get them involved in enjoying work and being passionate about work. And and you know they'll end up being you know couch potatoes, and uh, you know. And then have a whole bunch of other problems. Right. Exactly. <laughs> right. So okay, now it. Imagine that um, you're talking to, I love the age ranges of 9 to 12, mm -hmm. when they're really just starting to find their own identity. Mm -hmm. You're talking to a 10-year-old boy, mm -hmm. and you want to encourage him to just go out there, take his passion, and make something of it. What would you say to encourage that? Uh, well, if, if, uh, once, he, once he designed his, you know, his passion, I would, I would uh, try to get him to come up with a game plan and, uh, and an outcome, and, you know, and, and to see that... Uh, that that once he knows what the outcome is, he can go out and put it, put his plan into action, and then compare his outcome at the end, compared to the plan that he originally had, and ask himself, you know, uh, what did I learn uh, from this? What did I do right? And what could I have done better so that he can continue to learn from uh, from his from his actions? And so, what about um, for kids? Do you think uh, I, I'm a huge believer in? They just go out there and take the passion, turn it into a business. Mm -hmm. And you're, of course, from the internet marketing world. Is it something that kids can easily do? Yeah, you know, kids, kids today are, uh, you know, are are, uh, are getting online. That you know, I mean, you know, I didn't see a computer until I was like 17 years old. So, <laughs> so, um, you know, nowadays kids being, you know, I've seen, you know, just young young kids, you know, grabbing the mouse and going online. So, uh, I would encourage uh, any kid looking to start an online business to start thinking of uh, of how they could even create just an internet presence, uh, you know, in any way with you know some free blog, you know, with Blogger or something like that, just to get started. And, and talk about their business online, and and uh, I think just that habit, starting at an early age, can you know can make the next Bill Gates out there. Awesome, we want many. <laughs> Thank you so much for your time. My pleasure. Can you just let us know where we can find you if we want to be mentored, maybe in, in the type of teachings that you offer? Sure. If you see my name anywhere around this video, then you can find my website. It's at mikefilsane.com. All right. Thank you very much, Thank Mike. You. My pleasure.